Hi there, my name is Shelby and I'm a machine shop TA here at the Mines Mechanical Machine Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a basic overview of the vertical bandsaw. Now when you come to the shop you'll notice that we have two different bandsaws. We have a green one here and we have a brownish gold one over there. Now it's in, uh, really important to make sure you're cutting the right materials on these two different bandsaws. We have different blades and different speed configurations set up on the machines optimized for different materials. Our green one over here is more suited for softer materials like, me, uh, like aluminum or plastics. Uh, additionally, our brown one over there is more optimized for harder materials like steel. Now before we get started actually working on the machine, it's important to know the safety required. Now you want to make sure your hands are always at least four inches away from the blade at all times. Now this includes if you're cutting a small part, making sure you have it secured in a pair of vice grips or in a jig really anything that will keep your hands at least four inches away. Additionally, we also have push sticks that you can use to help push your workpiece into the cut, uh, into the blade, and uh, it's perfectly fine to run into these with the blade if you have to. Additionally, you don't need to put a lot of force into it. Always let the blade do the work and kind of let the blade pick the speed that it wants. It's more important to have a consistent pressure on the workpiece than really sitting there and pushing it into the blade. Now that we know a little bit more about the safety, let's go over some of the guides that the machine has to help you get more accurate cuts. Now, this particular machine has a fence. This fence is parallel to the blade, and it has a lot of travel. So you can set this up, measure it out, and cut a pretty straight line very easily. Additionally, we also have an angled guide. You can rotate this up onto the table, loosen the knob, and set this to whatever angle you want. Once you get it set to the correct angle, you can lock it down, and clamp your workpiece to it securely. And this will let you really easily cut some more advanced parts. Now if you notice though, sometimes they do get in the way and say you have a very large part, you can just simply rotate this out of the way and you can loosen this and take the fence off. Now that we know how to set up the guides, it's important to also set up the tool, uh, the, the guide post correctly. Now we can see this guide post is really high up right now, which means that our blade can be torqued and twisted uh, as we're pushing into it with our workpiece. Now if you come around the corner to the machine, there's a locking handle right here and a knob. The first step is loosening the locking handle by pushing it up. Once you have it loose, then you can use the knob to raise or lower the guide post. Now you want this guide post as close as you can to your workpiece to ensure that you have as straight of a cut as possible. Once you're happy with the position, you want to make sure you lock it down. Now, I think we're all ready to get started cutting. If you go over to the right side of the machine, we have a green start button and a red stop button. Now keep in mind that the machine has to ramp up to speed and it also has to ramp down to its stall position. So whenever you turn on the machine, make sure you let it come up to speed before you start cutting. Here we go. Now we can see that the machine has reached its steady state condition and we're ready to start cutting. Now let's say we just finished our cut we can go ahead and turn off the machine. You want to make sure the blade comes to a complete stop before you go in and either inspect your part or get any cutoffs. Uh, once you're done with the cut and the machine has come to a complete stop, it's very important to clean up the chips that are left on the table. You always want to leave the machine cleaner than you found it. Uh, make sure you use a brush or a dustpan and just brush it off and then sweep up the floor when you're done. Well, that's about it for this machine today. If you have any questions when you come into the shop, make sure you ask a TA for future assistance. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good day.